So hello, hello everyone. So today we will continue to our class about the scheduling. Right. So in the last lab we study about how can we set up the mathematical model for the sub sub scheduling, and we also consider the first meta the first heuristic about the how can we solve the sub sub the shifting bottleneck heuristic. Right. So today we will move to the next content about the uh, jump sum and constraints programming. Right. So here, first of all, I want to summarize some idea about the uh, constraints programming. Right. So the main idea is in the algorithm of constraints programming will be including like this. First of all, you have given a graph, right? And uh, at the main, uh, at the first step, graph only have the solid act. And uh, for each node, we need to calculate by the earlier starting time, right? And uh, we also need to find the latest commission time for each graph. And uh, so to identify the sequence on one machine, we usually need to make the comparison uh, between any nodes that will that between uh, two chops that will be conducted on one machine, right? And to identify this, we must rely on the slug, right? So we will calculate the slug when one boot I uh, put before another node, right? And uh, vice versa. And depend on the clocks that we can play in this state, we will have some uh, typical cases. The first one is not A, we are put before not B, and we can play this the last A greater or equal to zero. And if we put not B before not A, and we are can play the slack is will be smaller than zero. So here in this guy, not A, it must put before not B, right? And here, uh, if not A, put before not B, and uh, we are given the slug greater than zero, and not B, put before not A, also give slug greater than zero. In this case, we need to can play the, the index theta. Now, this I think that's this we already listed in our lecture notes here. So let's see here, the case here. This is on corresponding with the four case. We will uh, go to the example uh, quickly later. So here now we see that right. In on this case, we can on the calculation must rely on the one performance index, which is the slug. So let's consider how can we can play the slug here, right? Now, first of all, we return again to our lecture not right? So here, let's see. Uh, some that we will have one. This is we represent for one nodes in our graph, and corresponding with one star. Stars will be machine in job, right? And here, this is the R will be represent for release day, and this will be represent for due date. So I release day will be the earliest right starting time and due day will be the latest uh, commission time right now assume we have this so during uh, release time and due days the job can be done here at any point from here to here right and starting at any time from the due date minus the release days. And here, for us, we have also have the second knot represented by the pair of I, machine, and chop. <coughs> so it can be done anything between I and D here, released in D day. So here, if we try to put the chop one before chop two on the machine I, and we can play in the most optimistic one. So here, uh, chop one will be stay at the day release day, and uh, chop two will be end at their day. 
So for last one, we will have the slug here. So in this case, the slug will weigh the this and this, the time that the machine do nothing. Okay. This thing will be the slug. Now, once again, we are some last chap two it done before chap one. So here, in kind of chap two it done before chap one, so the soonest time that the chap two can be processed will be here, right? So here, and during this, they will set here, and for in case of P1, right? So here, it can be start at any time from this to this. And so here, it will be end at the due date. So here, it will correspond with the slug. During this, the machine is idle, right? And so here now, so instead of this, we will have the formula to calculate the slug when some not input before another not. So here, there are chop guys, right? So for in this guy, there are chop guys, right? Minus what? Minus processing time of chop k, right? So what is the next minus processing time of chop? Chase, right? And minus the release time of chop chase. So this will be depends on the Delete time of chop before and the due day of chop after, right? So here we have the due day of chop after release time of chop before minus the processing time of two chop. So here release day of chop before due day of chop after minus the processing time of two chop, right? So let's see. When we already calculate the slug, how can we handle some spec specific case, right? So if we put not A before not B, the slug greater than zero, and when we put not B before not A, slug smaller than zero, then we put A before B, right? Doing in the same way, right? And so if to slug, uh, uh, on power of them are also smaller than zero, then there is no feasible schedule that can satisfy the precedent constraints, right? And here, another case that's when we put, when we can play like this and both of them are greater than zero, then we consider then either ordering between is still possible. So let's say consider the case, right? If there are more one pair of operation, let's satisfy the condition of case four, right? So we will calculate this, the square, the index theta like this, by means multiply with mass, right? And we will impose the precedent that retain the mass facilities, something like this. Right. So here, first of all, we just start with here. Later, we will back to this point. Right. Now let's consider. So you need to consider the example so that you will have some intuition about this. Now, first of all, this example is very similar with the above example, but we use another kind to solve it. Right. So now. First of all, right, we have the graph like this. So this is the, what is it? So here, this is the frame design for the machine. First, but in the pay we will frame design for the machine. The second, we will frame design for the chop. So here, chop one, we will go to machine one, two, three, right? Chop two, we will go to the machine. Two, one, four, three, and chop three. Where we go to the uh, the sequence up one, two, and four, right? So here we will represent for the processing time of each chop, right? So 
Job one in machine one, it will check the position time of 10, right? So here on the information on really list this here. So you can consider with this, right? Now we assume that we, the max band equal to the due date, right? Of the 32, right? So here, someone will ask me whether the 32 are, so here the 32 are given here is the deadline. Let's say back a little bit, right? So the constraint programming, right? Help us to produce a sequence of each machine so that the overall schedule has the smack band is less than or equal to a given deadline by D. So here the body must be given in advance, right? So here, these are the due date. These are must be given in the swing, right? Now let's see go to the this quickly now, right? First of all, we need to calculate the earlier starting time, right? Earlier starting time for this will be for here, zero, right? So after that, we will have it must be equal to 10, right? Chop, uh, chop one on machine two, soon as starting time is 10. After that, we will have this will be equal to 18, right? And uh, doing in the same way, zero, a 11. A, zero, a 11. After that, we will have 16 right and here <coughs> now so how about this right so here this will be the maximum of 16 plus 6 and 18 plus uh, 4 so it will be the here total will be 22 so here it also let's say 1 2 3 here it will be uh, 22 bus and the rest and this graph this will be corresponding with 14 so here starting time of V also the ending time the earliest finishing time of V will be uh, starting time also earliest finishing time of V will be 22 right and now <coughs> We need to back a little bit, right, to calculate the due day, right. So here we will move to in the reverse, reverse direction, right, to calculate. Uh, we need to calculate backward to consider the due date of each one, right. So chop one, right, the chop, uh, here, this not will be have the due date and given by this, right? 32, right? Also, here the same. 32 will be have the 32, right? And 31 will also have the 32, right? So, here 32 minus 4, right? It will be corresponding with 2, 1, right? So, here. 28 right so in in the same way we can calculate for 401 right so 411 right and here this is all the information relating release uh relating to the due date of the first graph right so i hope this and this step is still okay to you to understand the whole process of calculating. Mm -hmm. So here. Now let's see. Let's now we need to calculate for each machine. We need to calculate the slug between two operation, right? So here, for machine one, we will have this nose this knot and this knot, right? So we need to set up the table for machine one. 
right, top one, top two, and top three, top one, top two, and top three, right. So here maybe someone will ask me whether I can guess, right, this value, right, okay. So now let us sum that. Now let's uh, sum that. Uh, miss this. So, right. We have the not one one. Right. Four before the not two one. Right. So it will be not releasing to one. Due day of chap after. So due day of chap after. Right, two one. So the day of time after will be twenty one. Right, minus relay day of time before. So relay of time one one will be zero. Right, zero. Right, minus the total processing time two of time. So here, processing time of this will be. Minus three plus ten, right? So we will have the uh, equal to a, right? So I sum up a little bit, right? So this will be corresponding with this value, right? So now sum that. Now we sum that. One two we go before one one right so one two right go before one one now let's see the case so one two finishing time right one two sorry one one finishing time due day same day Minus releasing time of one two a minus the total processing time of this three plus ten right so here is the will be minus one right and this will be corresponding with this value right so here do in in the same way for all the pair, all other pair in machine one, machine two, machine three, and machine four. Now we rely that in this case, this value and this value had the uh, different sign, right? So this will be the positive, which will be the negative, right? Positive, negative, positive, and negative. So according to the rule one, right? Or the case one, if someone positive and they when we uh, reverse the direction, the slug is negative, then we put it in the forward direction, right? So here we put it in the forward direction. One one go to one two, right? And here. So, so we will go to two three right and here we will have two two we will go to two one right it's corresponding with this and here two two we will be go to two three right so now we already identify three direction up at into this so we update the graph right now we already update the graph. One one go to one two and two two right go to two three two two go to two one right and we put the information on the graph. And so when we already update the graph, so in the next step we need to calculate what we need to. Re-update the release time and 
the release date and the due dates, right? So here again we update the release date, right? So since this will be the first class, right? So I hope that you already know this. So let's just consider some case. That's maybe a little bit change, right? So here let's see for the top uh two three right so now the release date instead of four like before now it will be go to eighteen top two must be uh reset before top three on machine two so it must be wait for this and it's take I uh unit time is four so it's the release time of two three must be eight right and so so you can try again can play the backward to find the due date of this i think that we already studied this in production manage uh, our project management how to campaign with the backward and forward and even in the first lab right it already has some example for this right when we already have the release in this day right so now we can collect the slug for its pair now remember that for again right here we already can collect or identify the pair of uh one one go to one two right one one goes to one two so here we can eliminate the relationship of one one and one two right so we don't need to calculate one one and one two in the same way two two and two one already identified two two and two three are already identified so we don't need to calculate it again right this and this so here let's see now on the slot right I already created in zero right so for the next step we need to calculate the index right delta by the square root of slug like this slug like this multiplied by the square root of this right so here we choose the most minimum right the minimum here minimum will be the relationship between 3 1 and 3 2 so with corresponding with 4 right and say here both of them are equal so we can put either two three go to uh three two go to three one or three one go to three two oh. right so now uh sum that three two go to three one eight adopted right so when three two go to three one uh, adopted we insert another broken egg into the graph again right we update the information about the release date and due date relating to the net iteration iteration 3 right and slowing already had release date and due dates once again right we can play the single machine the slug of for each single machine now you if he if you rely that we already the machine number three already uh, disappear why here the machine number three here now we have only one comparison right one pair of not and here we already identify this pair of not right already identify identify the relation between two pair of the north so we can meet it right so when we omit it so this means the machine tree is disappear right now again so here we can collect it again and we rely that we will set the priority for the uh, for three right uh, sorry for the 4 2 go to the 4 3 right 
and in front to go to the front three so we insert the solid egg into this like this and update all right that's the gate Right, so and here we already identified some machine four table relating to machine number four will be uh, deleted, uh, will be not considered again, right? And here now we will to the one one and one three, and so we will to the chart with the mod flexible. So, right, one one will go before one three. Right, so now we add here one one we we go to be found one three and they do this and this right and so here we identify the relationship again insert the X update the information and find the slack they have the slack like this and like this right so here we will have the relationship uh two one will go before two three right two one will be go to before two three let's get next and this and finally we will have one two go to before one three one two right we will go to the one, one three. Right, so here one two we will go to the one, one three. Right. Right, so here from the information we know that on the machine one, right? Here this is the this correspond the machine one, the sequence of the result on the machine one. Right. Here are the machine one. Right, the sequence of chart will be is relating to this. Right, so here one up to three and up to two. Right, machine two sequence chart. Here relating to machine two, right? Top two first, after the top one, and after the top three, and finally, right? We will have uh, machine three. See what? It will be two after the three. Machine Right. So this will relating to how can we use the constraints programming right to find the schedule when we are given the deadline. Right. So now the case is that usually that we are not know exactly in advance the deadline right so here the deadline is the hyper hyper parameter right so here um, they suggest the framework for constraints programming here array from three so let's say a little bit right Uh, so in order to apply the constraint set to function the procedure to a chart sub problem with the mass plane objective right it must be embedded in the following framework right so some that you must have the upper pound and lower bound to the mass plane right so here after that we set these the deadline will be the between the average between the lower bound and upper bound right we apply the constraint procedure strategy custom procedure algorithm right so here if CMAT 
smaller than D. Right? So we will increase the D up. Right? Smaller than D. So set D up equal to D. Right? If C much greater than D, we set, set D L equal to D. And so here, we start when the the upper bar minus the lower bar right? uh, smaller or equal to 1 right so at this step we start right? so basically the process will be uh, adjust the parameter of this line the given this line until its satisfaction uh, uh, the, uh, the gap between the up by the lower bound e equal to 1 right so here the main cost we what we already study before and here it, we iterate this uh, process several times until the gap between the upper and lower equal to 1 and at the step we start right so I hope that you already understand about the concept of the constraints programming basically and this and you see that basically most of the scheduling uh, problem we cannot manually calculate it because in the practice right the scale of the problem is extremely large right it's maybe up to let me see 100 chop or maybe a lot or some of the number of machine can reach to maybe 50s right so in this case if we just rely on the manual calculation it's nearly impossible for us to calculate it so that's why that I asked you to use the C++ software to help you to utilize the power of the computer or also the software to help you to solve the real problem instead of calculate everything manually right so bye bye